People got no manners at them daggum buffets. There was a guy actually sitting at the buffet. <laughs> Pissed me off. I walk up there. You know you ain't supposed to stick your face right in the deck. Ooh, I felt bad. He was in a wheelchair. <laughs> oh, man. Believe me, I felt bad. Not as bad as I felt, though, when I pushed him out of the way. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Out of the way, roller boy. I'm about to make some bad decisions right here. <laughs> I love that Golden Corral. That's a good restaurant right there. Oh, that is good in there. They ought to have a scoring system, a Golden Corral, like they do in bowling, you know? You walk in there to eat, they put your name up on the TV screen and show everybody how much food you ate after 10 trips to the buffet. You can pick teams and compete with other fat folks in there. That'd be something. Hey, sweetheart, where's my stretch pants? It's league night at Golden Corral tonight. I seen a couple get engaged at the Golden Corral. <laughs> Hey, fellas, here's a tip. If you're going to ask your girl to marry you at a golden corral, get down on two knees and do it so she can't kick you in the nuts. Have you ever had somebody say something so stupid to you on Facebook? You just had to go investigate the profile just a little bit. Like, I went to the man's profile. He said he was studying to be an RN. I said, huh, you already a RN, a retarded <laughs> And shout out to everybody in here right now. Shout out to everybody who got a smartphone with a cracked screen. Mm-hmm. Talking about you waiting for your upgrade. <laughs> but your shit ain't till two years later. So every time you get a text message, you getting glass shards in your finger and Girl talking about, why take you so long to text back? Cause it hurts, <laughs> And they got this stupid app now, and it's called Snapchat. I don't know if y'all have heard of this. That is the dumbest app I have ever heard of. It's an app that allows you to take a picture and send it to somebody, and it disappears within a matter of seconds. It's kind of like this, ladies. I sent you a picture of my dick. No, I didn't. <laughs> I had a chick, right, and she was looking sexy, man. She had on a thigh-high stocking. She had her breast all out, and she was looking amazing. And she sent me this damn picture, but it disappeared. I was like... <laughs> I texted her back mad as hell, like, what the hell did you send me this for? I can't jerk off in five seconds. What the hell? You find somebody that can jerk off in five seconds, they need to be put in the Guinness Book of World Records, and they need to run for the presidency next term, because they can get done fast, that's all I'm saying. But not me. I was down in Branson, they got stuff down there, buffets, holy smokes. They got an international buffet in Branson. It is crazy. They got food all the way from Memphis. <laughs> got a double-decker buffet. They got a double-decker, one of the world's largest buffets, double-decker, spiral staircase. All right, that's just what all us fat folks have been clamoring for right there. A buffet with a staircase. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get some more of them donut holes. They're upstairs. You know what, I'm all right, I guess. I'll be all right. Stay down here, get some meatballs, put some powdered sugar on them. That's what I do right there. A lot of old folks down there in Branson riding them scooters down there. I find that crazy. These folks have lost their driver's license two decades ago, but they're gonna go ahead and let them have motorized vehicles in a room full of pedestrians at the buffets down there. <laughs> Trying to get food, they're zipping by like it's a drive-through. <laughs> I went up to get some potato salad. It was like I was in a live Frogger game all of a sudden. He's like, yeah. got hit head on by some old dude trying to text and drive. <laughs> he trying to send a crop shot to Tinder, apparently. <laughs> I was uh, at a restaurant one time. You ever been to these restaurants and you go to the bathroom? It could be any restaurant, but you go to the bathroom and they go take a leak in there and they got a sign that says, all employees must wash hands. That scares the hell out of me right there. They need a sign to tell these folks to wash their hands? 
I mean, what the hell makes me wonder what kind of sign they got back in the kitchen we can't see back there? <laughs> Don't snot in the coleslaw. <laughs> Don't dip your scrotum in the salsa. <laughs> hey, that actually happened one time. That's a true story. You remember that story? A waiter was mad at a customer and dipped his scrotum in the salsa. Oh, that's why I always ordered a hot cheese dip. <laughs> yeah. Not a punk, I'm a survivor, man. Give y'all some background. You know me, I used to work at Golden Corral. <laughs> Woo my ass. That place is terrible. As soon as you walk in, it smells like diabetes, don't it? You know what's bad when the only good thing you could say about your establishment is, uh, we got a chocolate fountain. That's the best thing about it. I seen it put a steak in there. And he was just turning it like a rotisserie chicken, just. I said, your fat ass gonna die, man. Now I used to work in the back washing the plates, the knives, and the forks with my white friend, James. Now, there was an old black dude named Fred. He used to wash the pots and the pans. Now, Chris Rock said it the best about old black men. He said it the best. He said, <clears> old <throat> black men are the most racist people in the world. Who the f are you? Who the f are you? Who the f are you? <laughs> to talk about... fight you. They just shoot you. <sighs> so, they decided to send rolls to the back, right? I thought it'd be funny to pick up a roll and throw it at Fred. Because I like messing with people. I picked up the roll, I threw it at Fred, it hit him, hit his water, the water splashed him in his face. <laughs> but he thought that James threw the roll. <laughs> yeah, oh shit, right? So in the back of Golden Corral, I kid you not, he had a civil rights flashback right there. <laughs> and it's like he turned back into a slave. As soon as it happened, man, he said, <laughs> Hey, <laughs> you throw another roll and I's gonna you up. Now, New York, I had a decision to make. <laughs> but I ain't no punk, I'm a survivor, so I was like, yeah, throw another roll. <laughs> and I was like, wait in the water. Wait in the water, whoa, wait in the water. Me and Fred gonna stick together. Cause I ain't a punk. Hell yeah.